Alright, here we go. Me playing Twisted Metal 3 for the first time since 1998. Um, I tried playing this and the controls suck. So then I even tried playing it with a cheat code. And I don't know how you're supposed to beat this legitimately. I'm going to have to watch some videos of other people doing it because I haven't figured it out yet. But yeah, it's a wild one. Between the bad graphics and the overly powered final balls, I, I don't remember how I did this legit. But you'll see what I mean here in a few minutes. But I'm going to let this intro play out with the volume down. That way YouTube doesn't kick me off because uh, this game has a lot of licensed music in it. Most of it coming from Rob Zombie and White Zombie. There is one missed opportunity here. Um, there's a stage called Hangar 18. And I feel like they should have used Hangar 18 by Megadeth, but they used some other band instead. So we're going to fix that. I am Calypso. Each year I gather the 12 worthiest drivers to face off in the Twisted Metal competition. They must face each other and some of my friends to claim the ultimate prize. I grant a single wish, whatever the winner asks for. To the losers, death. Welcome to Twisted Metal. So here's stage one, Washington. Maybe it's Washington, maybe it's L.A. I think it's L.A. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's Los Angeles, Hollywood. It's a car combat game. If you've never heard of it, there's plenty of videos about this. But you start off with a Sunrock Zombie, move into a Pitch Shifter. And uh, I just wanted you to get a brief glimpse of what this game is like before we get to the final boss and you see how overly powered it is. Uh, granted, each car has got its own physics involved with it how it reacts of getting damaged, things like that. This is a uh, dark side of the boss. And it took me 15 minutes to defeat him or her or it, whatever it is. And uh, yeah, sometimes you'll be going forward and then your car will back up. And when it backs up, it usually backs up to the left or to the right. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to replay this because I remember being a lot of fun, but here, uh, being the first time I've played it in 20 some odd years, it was kicking my butt a little bit. But a lot of these stages have uh, hidden doors, hidden rooms. You shoot control panels to reveal them, like the spaceship there. There's one later on in Egypt when you're like in the Valley of the Pharaohs. There's one in the North Pole or Santa's Workshop or Father Christmas. But yeah, I just wanted to get a real quick glimpse of this. But when we get to the very final boss, he just hits you with a barrage of weapons that knocks your car all over the place. And then even if you do damage it enough, it will knock your car out of the way long enough for it to get power-ups and restore its health. And in some of these stages, after you beat all the cars, a regen happens. And when it regenerates, like all the enemies respawn and you have to defeat them again. And then take on a boss. But I do remember this game being more fun with two players. But uh, I didn't have anybody to play with at the time. Now or back then. But I really think that a modernization of the controls and the graphics could make this game come back huge. Obviously the licensed music might be a thing. But they can always relicense it. Rob Zombie's still around. Megadeth is still around. But yeah. Um. Uh, I know they're going to make a TV show adaptation. I hope it's R-rated. If it's PG, then why even bother? I mean, this game was kind of sick and twisted. The endings were always like... Not what you would think they would be. It was always like making a deal with the devil. You got what you want, but at some sort of weird twisted price. But yeah, there's lots of videos out there with full-length gameplay videos of this. If you want to see a long play, I'm sure they exist. But this is just a really quick once over first impression of this game after a 20 some odd year break the valley of the kings the kings of the night would never have dreamed the greatest 
greatest battles of all time would take place on top of their tombs. Be careful not to wake the Pharaoh. His wrath packs a particularly nasty punch. All right, there we go. An intro to the stage by Calypso, the deity god guy thing who's in charge of the Twisted Metal tournaments. Here's a uh, hidden room in one of the uh, pyramids. Later on, there's a second room that you can unlock, find, discover, and it has a uh, basically a lightning uh, special weapon. It shoots lightning from your card in 360 degree radius, trapping everyone inside of it. You'll see it here in just a second, that thing. And I vaguely remember there being a cheat code where you could shoot lightning out of your car no matter what vehicle you had. But it may have been in Twisted Metal 2, I can't remember. But as you can see, the regeneration activated and now all of the uh, cards have respawned. And then there's a boss battle. You get through it, get to the next stage. And the next stage is when you find this fight. The final boss. I didn't do really this. I had to look it up. But uh, when you get here to this stage, there's actually a bunch of red switches on the wall, and you have to shoot them. And if you don't, then you can never fully kill the final boss anyway. For me, the red switches weren't the problem. It was the final boss knocking my car I'd like you to meet an acquaintance of mine. Over and he over goes again. by the name Primeval. And then it would be regain health. He's by not as friendly as the other contestants have been. And if you got close to it while it was trying to regenerate its health, it would just knock you back away again. And so after fighting this thing for like 20 minutes, even with a cheat code, I just gave up and turned the game off because, you know, what's even the point at that time? So I'm just going to let this play out. I'll leave uh, all my social information in the links and on screen. Anybody has any general gameplay tips for this, let me know. Um, if you know of any kind of mod to update the graphics, let me know. Uh, right now, I believe it's sitting at 1440p. It's what I recorded this at. And again, uh, any gameplay tips are welcome. Any criticisms, if you feel like blasting it, that's fine. Um, just let me know what you think. Leave uh, some information. But uh, feel free to turn this off. I'm just going to let it run for the next four or five minutes. You can watch the Prime Evil's health go down and then it regenerate. But yeah, just uh, let me know what you think.